Hello and welcome back to Volumes and in this episode we're gonna explore this new project that we're creating. Uh, we're also forming a team of people to pursue this project and there's a lot of big things on the horizon. So I'd first like to introduce Chenny to the to the team. Hello. Hello. Come round Chenny. That was sleek. Hello. So yeah, Chenny, thank you for joining me. No, thank you for joining me. Absolutely. So where do you want to start? Where do you want to, how much information are we willing to give the audience? You know what, I've got no censorship. I'll tell them as much as I can. Let's go. Let's do the deep dive. I, w- I was waiting on you. Didn't oh, I? Right, me, all right. Listen. I'm handing this over to you. Yes, I'm so. Thank you very much for coming. No, thank you. Thank you for having me. So, Tom, tell me about yourself. I mean, because you've always been interviewing people. Let me interview you right now. That's true. Um, so, I'm I'm Tom Gibson. Uh-huh. Simple man. Simple. Simple <laughs> man. <laughs> I, I just eat good food and and live life and yeah I'm very fortunate I'm just here cooking for myself <laughs> Mondays is Mondays to sometimes weekends I'm not even sure if my cooking passes I'm just like putting food in my mouth fortunately you're holding the microphone backwards am I? oh wow that is awkward and is it working right now? <laughs> yes perfect it's great it's working um <laughs> must be the stress G- great intro but yeah must be the stress uh talking about food thank you very yep. much for making me food it was delicious Absolutely fine yeah great korean you wonder i cooked today yeah i cooked yeah. a korean fried ch- no it wasn't korean fried chicken it was korean stir fried chicken mm. with some uh gochujang, which is the um korean red pepper sauce mm. yeah it was absolutely delicious uh we should link the recipe below so people we can, could, can said, yeah. give it a wee try although how how cultured do you think people are do you think people would go out their comfort zone to make something like that or do you think people would go i mean why not i mean it does yeah, i'd encourage it I, yeah i mean it's fun you try something new you learn something new mm. actually by eating the food you actually learn about their culture as well oh yeah oh, oh you want to use chopsticks yeah. but i said no chopsticks just use a spoon well that was something that we spoke about not on camera last time but we spoke about before and how uh you really can learn a lot about oh, yeah. a culture by its food yeah, yeah. and and sort of like how they rely if, if it's like a sort of like uh affluent culture yeah, yeah they can get away with doing quite experimental things but mm-hmm. then in poor areas it's very like this is the this is what you need this is the standardized food you know what i mean is it like, because do you think it's because of lack of resources as well do you think um, and a lack of information. I suppose, yeah. Places, but, mm. To some degree, yeah. Uh, which I suppose makes no sense when you go to like affluent places and yeah. they only live by their own culture and they don't experiment and don't bring in other things. You know, I feel like it should mm. be places with like a weaker economy that should have more simple food that re- that they grow there. Yeah. Which yep. also is great food. Mm. I'm not trying to criticize the food, but the places I've been to and which I've eaten locally. Yep. It can be amazing, but it's also, it's quite simple. You know what I mean? They don't, mm-hmm. they're not trying to do anything outrageous. They're not trying to show off. They're like, no, this is just our food. This is what we grow here. Uh, this is what we raise here. And this is what we cook here. That's it. You Sounds know? like simplicity at its best. Yeah, probably better if yeah. anything. They're they're living a more humbled life. Yes. And getting a lot yeah. more out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well... I wouldn't say the food I cooked was really simple. There were lots of sauces. No, in there. The, yeah, there was even grapefruit in the sauce. You were actually yeah, surprised. Like, yeah, I was actually surprised. I never saw that. Before. <laughs> I just, I just kind of enjoyed that thing. It's like, oh, there's oh sweet sauce mm. here, green. Yeah, I never really thought much in about buying the sauce until you actually read the ingredients. Like, oh wow. See, I'm I'm obligated to read the ingredients. Ah, I'm, right. Yeah. I'm l- my livelihood. My life li- livelihood is that what I'm looking for? My life <laughs> depends on it. Um. So, so yeah, you have an egg. And nut. 
nut allergy egg and nut there's all kinds of nuts because nut allergy is quite as literally all the nuts including coconut really yeah even coconut coconut isn't a nut uh different family but i am allergic to coconut by coincidence oh wow yeah literally in play on words as well yeah coconut so coconuts eggs so like all 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 tree nuts uh peanuts all the nuts cashew nuts even cashew nuts all the nuts walnuts walnuts i'm pushing my luck here now am i (laughs) What, mm. what other nuts do they have? Uh, ooh, uh, pine nut. Pine nut. Um, can you find sesame? I'm fine with sesame, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, although, every uh, it seems to be anyone that's allergic to peanuts is allergic to sesame. I don't know how I got away with that one. Hmm. Anomaly. What can I so, say? So, right. Um, also allergic to cocoa or cocoa. Chocolate. Cocoa. Yeah. You're allergic to chocolate? Yep. Never had chocolate. Yeah. In fact, that's how they discovered I had allergies because I was playing with chocolate and I took an allergic reaction when I was a baby and I've never touched chocolate since. So you're allergic to eggs. You're allergic to eggs. Yep. How? Um, it's quite a rare allergy. I can understand the nut allergy is quite prevalent in Europe. Yeah, but oh yeah. Eggs. How? Um, so I think there's 12 different common allergies. Um, eggs is one of them, but it's definitely not the highest there. Mm-hmm. Um, celery is probably one of the lowest. That's a weird one. Sulfites, quite low. Mm-hmm. I'm fine with all them, but I have, yeah, eggs, nuts. What I, what I think about though is ah uh, wait, I've got a question. Yeah, go for it. Peanut oil. Mm, okay, all right. Mm. You're you're. That's mm, a good question. Right. So, because my only concern is that if you ever were in Asia, we lots of peanut oil there. I think I would be allergic to it. Right. But, but, but have you tried peanut oil? I've never tried that, and I've never. Oh. Sometimes you can have a reaction on the skin that isn't dangerous. Yeah, I I want to try it and just okay. see if it reacts. Just a, a, drip, a drip of it. Yeah, yeah cocoa happens, reacts so. on the skin. Uh huh. Um, in fact, so I I'm deathly allergic to nuts. Okay. And eggs. Yep. Cocoa as well, and high quantities. But it's white chocolate has very very little cocoa, in it, so I could uh-huh. eat it. But my the inside of my mouth would Whoa. blister. Ah, that's, yeah. I mean, that's Which, that's not great. Yeah, yeah. It's got I would rather not do that. Yeah. But if I eat a nut, I have about like seven minutes before my my heart just stops. <laughs> so, do you want to give it a try? House, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be good for the podcast. How many views would we get? Mm. Mm-hmm, yeah. Allergy, yeah. Think about those numbers. I'll have epipens and like call the NHS and stuff yeah. as well. Yeah. Let's just both try an EpiPen right now and then continue the podcast. Do you have EpiPens with you everywhere? Yeah. I'm a jack of ball, yeah. Is it just in case and stuff like that? Just in case, yeah. Just in case. Pure adrenaline. So, I mean, how bad can... Because I've heard of cases where um, on, on the plane itself, like people oh, yeah. get like nut allergies by just breathing in. Are you, yeah. are, you, are you allergic to that as well? So, what I've been told and why sort of, I know about it is that uh, peanuts, n- no other nut really has this, but peanuts have a sort of dander Mm-hmm. That can travel through, like a dust that travels mm-hmm. through the air, okay. and people can take an allergic reaction off that. Right, right. I've obviously never experienced that, and I've been fortunate not to have good, that. Good, good, good. Maybe everyone experiences it differently as well. You know? yeah, yeah, I think there's different, like uh, how how severe it reacts in some people. Is I think on others. a specific airline, which I can't remember, they actually got peanuts off. They actually took peanuts off their um, refreshments and stuff like that. Mm, yeah, it was because um, there was a kid that actually had an allergic reaction to it she died yeah yeah um and well see there's like two two things are happening when it comes to airlines Mm -hmm. the first one is sort of like this idea that we should just ban the nuts if anyone's coming on we give an announcement saying try and refrain from opening up any sort of nuts yeah airports have stopped selling nuts that's Mm. that's, i would say the good one (laughs) i i'm in that like i'm happy that that's happening um the other one is that when you try and phone up an airline and say, hey, I've got an allergy, would it be all right if you made an announcement? They say, no, you're not allowed on our flight. Do not buy a ticket. Mm-hmm. We will not allow you onto the flight. If you try and ask for that, we'll, we'll remove you from the flight and you will not get your money back. And this has happened, not happened to me, I, but I've been told by airlines, don't come. We don't want you here. You're you're basically just a nuisance. Again, do you not think it's a health and safety thing as well? I mean, for the airlines. Yeah, so they don't want they are, to be blamed. There might be traces of nuts. I mean, even the food sometimes. Mm. We're not, it, they're not sure the severity of it. And yeah. they're not sure how you might actually react to it as well. I don't eat so, plain fl- food though. I wouldn't eat plain oh, food. Plain food's disgusting. Unless yeah. you're the business class. So any airlines want heads up business class. Mm. 
but yeah, I would leave plain food. Um, I've, plain food is disgusting, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> so I was bring your own food. I was, in, I was in the airline food. once. I can't remember which one. It was like some rice. Call them out. Say the name. Oh. <laughs> Give them bad publicity. Cathay Pacific, Hong Kong, Singapore. You really have to up your game. It's the food was just weak. No one serves ping glu and some meat with rice and vegetables. I literally just had the bun. <laughs> Nothing else. <laughs> mm. The bun wasn't even warm. It was cold. It was hot. If I threw it against the wall, there would be a dent in the wall. It was hot. That was how hot the bun was, yeah. Oh. It was steel. That's gross, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't have eaten. Just bring your own food, man. Bring it's your good. own food. That's too much effort as well. You, you, you yeah, but... get... You, you know, about bringing food on the plane or even on the train, on the bus... It may seem awesome to you, right? But it may insult someone else's yeah. nostrils. You get what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I was just about to say that. If you bring on food to a plane, everyone else hates you. Yeah. You're the worst person on that plane. But I mean, well, I did bring a Burger King burger once. Mm. I'm like, I once mm. brought a, a burrito on an airplane. Uh-huh. And I mean, I don't regret it. I enjoyed it. Everyone around me did not. <laughs> well, I enjoyed it. It might be the case he might be jealous because he had some great, great tasting food there. I would have been willing to spread it. I would have, I would have willing, everyone in the flight could have had a bite. I would have been happy. Mm. It, was all, me, for the people. it was me. It was me. I was just like, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, it's just my food. <laughs> it's mine. You should have it's got mine, your yeah. own. <laughs> you should have brought your own. Fight me. Um, right now? Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. So it's, it's a weird weird time to be alive if you have mm-hmm. allergies. I mean, I suppose it's always a weird time. I feel like people are quite uneducated on it. Don't realize that Peanut people allergies. can die. Like, Well, it, it was quite a foreign concept to me until I came to Europe because we, mm. well, we do have asthma there. Yeah. But I mean, asthma's I a mean, bad one. Asthma's everywhere. Yeah. I mean, but when it comes to peanut allergies, in, in Asia it's not a thing because I think the whole thing about allergies in Asia is that most people are exposed to stuff when they're young. Yeah. They might get a rash and the mum just like walks it off. Mm. Like walk it off. Yeah. Walk it off. And you, you just kind of get used to it and stuff like that. Mm. And like, I mean, lactose intolerant. Most Asians have that. Yeah. Oh, I read that everyone has that. Everyone's lactose intolerant. It's more prevalent in Asia because I think we drink less milk there somehow for mm. some reason. But that's not true. I know some of, tons of Asians drink milk. Look at us. We consume ridiculous amounts of bubble tea. What is it? Oh, it's like milk. So good. Oh. oh speaking of bubble tea. That's the greatest thing yeah. that Asia has brought over to the UK. Yeah. <laughs> and you. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Tom. Stop. Um, I know. Yeah, just saying. I actually do make my own bubble tea from scratch. Like, even the pulse itself. Why am I drinking green tea? Don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> University is tough. University is tough. Uh, yeah, I know, but it's really the green tea is really good though. though because you got to actually like, make the dough. Oh. You got to make the dough. You got to cut them up. You got to roll them in the balls. I don't know the machine dough. Yeah, that's it. What they're made from tapioca. Dough. Tapioca. It's like kind of like starch and stuff like that. What? I don't know. I, I think I was just so naive. I didn't realize. I didn't even think about it. What it was. Lots of effort going the pearls as well. Yeah, I can imagine. It's the art itself, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's it's all the effort, but. You don't, it's not simply just like making a cup of tea. Mm, you no. kind of have to make the tea in the right proportions, yeah. put the right sugar, put the right amount of milk as well, stuff like that. Mm. It's like a dessert as a drink. It's pretty much, it's really high in calories though. Yeah, but worth like that. Of sugar. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's it's definitely. Anything that's equal to its calories is not equal to its flavor. Some people actually kind of live on it. Really? It's, it's, they don't have a coffee addiction, but they have a bubble tea addiction. I feel like if there's more places to get them here, oh yeah, that's I would have a like an equal addiction to that. I mean, I would have an addiction to. I don't even like coffee that it's, much. It's just, it's just sugar and sugar because it tells <laughs> it's itself sugar has sugar. And, sugar. It, and that's why people love it. Liquid because, sugar. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is it any worse than chocolate? No one knows, mm, right? Mm. I mean, well, I don't. <laughs> um, Full yeah, circle. I mean, chocolate, ch- pretty much sugar. It's not even cocoa. It's mm, just yeah, sugar. Sugar and sugar. Yeah, the original form of chocolate had no sugar. Really? Yeah. I bet that tasted disgusting. Oh, that no, I mean, I think it used to be actually a drink, not even a not even a bar, chocolate bar. Like yeah, the hot, like, yeah. yeah. I think it was brought over by Europeans, and then Europeans say, "Right, you got this and sugar. We'll 
what happens with it. Mm-hmm. Just add some sugar to it. Oh, it actually tastes good. Mm. So adding milk as well, because milk's a big thing in Europe. So mm-hmm. um, I'm not surprised by that, to be honest. Like a European person stole I've something from another how, culture. I always <laughs> wonder how they make um, white chocolate. Was it because they said, all oh, right, we don't have any cocoa beans. We're just going to put like sugar and milk together. We'll see what happens. Mm. I'm not sure. Um, give your thoughts. How's white chocolate made? This is my theory. It's cheaper to have sugar and milk than yes. it is to have cocoa. Cocoa is expensive. So they were like, how do we get as much out of cocoa as possible? So they just diluted it. That's the that. reason why good chocolate companies, a good chocolate bar, is really expensive. Because mm, it's so high and it's, rich in yeah, cocoa. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, I consider it a commodity as well. Mm. It's a prized commodity. Mm. Interesting, isn't it? Crazy. Like the, vin- just food. the vanilla extract, it's not from vanilla extract. It's actually from a tree bark. It's from a kind of tree. Because the original vanilla extract actually comes from the flower. So whenever we eat vanilla, we're not actually eating vanilla. No, no. We're eating just a similar... A cheap version of it. Similar. Tasting yeah. thing, but not actually vanilla. It's too expensive. Vanilla extract is ridiculously expensive. The, pu- the really proper and pure one. It's almost like gold. What? Why are you telling me this? You're freaking me out. <laughs> oh, no. I just like my food. I read once that uh, sugar, Yeah. in fact, I may have said this the last time I was over, sugar, honey, uh, uh, l- like glucose, glucose. they all have the same like chemical structure. Basic chemical structure. Yeah. yeah. So when they, when they put the ingredients on the food, Mm-hmm. They can they can call it any of those terms. There's 26 different terms for sugar. They can call them any of them because there's no difference. I'm a chemist, not a biochemist, so I can't tell you. Well, unfortunately, we'll we'll need someone that can tell us on the podcast, mm. so we can get the good the good Kush information. Possibly our new member next week. We do have one more member joining oh, the team. Oh, I don't you're, know who that is? You're letting out some secrets. No, not even secrets. It's just uh, you know, just him. teasing them, just, just teasing, teasing the people, like. like <laughs> <laughs> um, leave your comments below who you think it is <laughs> mm-hmm. but yeah we're expanding the team oh, and there's yeah. more to come he's like the red ranger I'm like the new addition I'm like kind of like the blue ranger kind of thing who am I? I don't know the red ranger I'm the red ranger you started the team wait was the red ranger the top guy? yeah are you sure? oh yeah yeah, you're probably right, actually. Mm. I thought it was the Blue Ranger. I'm kind of Blue Ranger. I mean, can you not see from my color scheme today? If I knew we were going by Power Rangers, I would have worn different colors. That's fine. That's right here. I mean, it's yeah, fine. Okay. The first episode, no one wears their res- uh, respective colors it's because no one knows which color they might be. Ah. Uh, I hate I kind of <laughs> knew, I, I knew where I was going with the blue source. Of, like, you know, you know. Yeah. Blue Ranger. Maybe the Blue Ranger was all, all like the the grand master of all this before we anyone even realized. Not even really. Not 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 really. Even it's just that it depends on which series you're looking at because um, sometimes the Blue Ranger might be there longer, but the Red mm. Ranger comes in. Um. So top secret member who's coming next week. What color is she? Ooh. Oh, I give sure. away that he's a he. Oh, oh I've already he, he. I split know. the population. No. Mm. We'll see what color it might be yellow because yeah i, I was I, gonna say yeah I, I quite i quite like a good color scheme where where it's um he's definitely the primary yellow. colors let's be there. honest he's a yellow yeah, anyway hasn't yeah he? yeah at some point it'll be a hopefully a black ranger and a white ranger as well mm. yeah but the red rangers are the top dog yeah. Oh, yeah i'll keep you other rangers in line oh, yeah. um back onto airlines uh i flew with i can't remember the name i've been trying to think of the name where's uh, it from uh Austria, yes. and it's it has a Z in it. Oh, that's a uh, that's a good one. Ah, uh, do you know what I'm talking about? No, it's not Austrian Air, is it? No, no, no. It's like a new airline. It's a like new relatively new. It's only only been going about maybe like ten years max. And it begins with I think it begins with a Z. Is this a budget airlines? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I mean. I've got this thing spot budget airlines. I'm actually really scared, actually. Well, yeah. wait until I tell you that story, right? Mm-hmm. They were literally the best airline I've ever flown with. Interesting. They were incredible. Um, Wiz. That's it, Wiz. Wiz. Wiz it airline. It starts with a W, not a Z. It ends in a Z. Oh, God. Wiz. Wiz airline. Wiz airline. W-I-Z-Z. Oh, it's actually, I heard it's really good. Oh, that's amazing. Good, yeah. It's incredible. So they do everything right. 
everyone should listen to them they do everything right they were so accommodating for me having allergies um it's better than easy shit than like right now so oh I've yeah heard, i've heard i've heard for, you get a lot out of uh, for your money like it's mm-hmm. it's very it's very it goes your money goes far when you I go hope they're more reasonable when it comes to like oh you got a small bag with you because i know some airlines like right now like makes you buy additional baggage Just, yeah you can't you can't roll up your bag anymore it's like but, well when we came back from me and lucy came back we were our luggage was over we bought so much junk what, what do you guys came back from uh, Moldova. Moldova. Because Moldo- Moldo- it was the only airline oh, that flew to Moldova. It? Right, right. right. Okay. I, I, there was literally yeah. no other airline. It was oh. the only one we could uh, get to Moldova. Um, so when we flew back, we like bought tons of like junk, just yep. junk really. Um, everything was so cheap. So of course we were buying tons of junk. Mm-hmm. So when we came back, our, our cases were over, and they didn't even remotely care. They were like, mm, "That's fine." Is there? In fact, oh, <laughs> this is a great story. Oh, when we were in Moldo- Moldovan. Uh, we were uh, in uh, uh, Kishnov, the mm-hmm. capital. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's the English pronunciation of it. So at least he's better than me. I thought it was Chisinau. Well, that's yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I got told by a person who speaks Russian that it was Kishnov, but they don't Kishnov. speak. They speak Moldovan and Moldova, uh-huh, so it probably uh-huh. is pronounced differently. So I'm probably pronouncing it the English version of a Russian version of a Moldovan word. So I'm probably really wrong. Um, but anyway, we uh, walked right past security. L- like, I literally right past. Uh-huh. And see how you're not supposed to, like, have uh, open bottles? Anything yep, over, yep, what is it, yep. 500 milliers? Or 100, 100 milliers? Mils, 100 mils. You're not supposed to, anything over that that's open, you can't go through. We walked through with, like, our water bottles, or drinks, everything. Was it empty, though? No, it was busy. But no one cared. There were There were, in fact, there was, like, some weird fiasco going on, like a r- absolute ruckus, where they were uh, they were like taking all these like there was like maybe like a group of twenty uh, like East Asian people, uh-huh. and they were taking all the passports off them, and we were like taking the passports. Oh yeah, them. and they were screaming and shouting at them, and they were screaming and shouting back, and we we're like, what's going on here? And the guy looked at us, this huge man, bald man. Yeah, yeah. He looks at us and goes like, this, I, like security, and he's like, just just come by, it's fine. And then we just walk by. We don't go through like scanners. We don't put our luggage in. We just go, and that was it. That sounds a bit dangerous, doesn't yeah. it? Not? Yeah. We could have had anything with us, and we were we like that was. We didn't get checked again until we arrived in in the UK. So we could have flo- uh, flown in. Uh-huh. In fact, would we have even be checked in London? I don't think we were, because we would have had uh, the uh, chipped passport. So we just get we just stand in front of the. Little, little scanner yeah yeah that and we're in in our suitcases they don't get scanned again so we could have walked in with anything oh trust me because i think it's like consider low risk and things that if they were th- if they thought you're high risk they were make yeah. a phone call yeah when you get when you when you arrive yeah, you're, you're right you, yeah. you might just like pass by and like pass through and stuff like that but the moment you sh- like try to exit into the like the mainland uk mm. itself from the out they know out from the airport They've, they've got yeah. they, they won't really stop you they, they won't even just like get police and say oh sir would you just come in we're just having a chat with you yeah. and that's well I don't know I smuggle yeah. tons of drugs and they don't question me <clears throat> oh sorry I, I didn't mean to incriminate myself on, the, on this uh, scheduled programme uh, I was only kidding it was a joke anyway allegedly <laughs> 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 no but I mean we really we probably I feel like we probably could have taken t- taken something mm-hmm. um, we did sneak bottles over like are opened over 500 milliliter balls and that was probably this, like All the right. most uh exciting thing i've ever done <laughs> breaking the law mm. living my best life it's lucky it's just moldova i mean yeah the moment we get to london and being happens yeah. if if if, the, if people actually did that in london they would be it would be pretty dangerous i'm not gonna lie mm. yeah because especially if london's uh it's a, it's a trade capital of Europe to some extent. It's like so many people coming in from around the world. You're mm. not sure if there's the good ones, if there's the bad ones, and yeah. Yeah, in fact, everything about Moldova and uh, Transnistria was real, real strange. Trans- tra- trans- Transnistria. Transnistria. I've heard of that. Yeah, so it's a, an unregistered country. Doesn't exist. I think I've heard that on the YouTube channel called Born Bankrupt. Born bank. That's yeah, there's this ball guy from Britain that oh, speaks Russian. Yeah, I know. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was there. I was like, so what currency did they use there? 
what do they use in Russia? Ruble? Ruble. I think it's the ruble as well, but it's just Transnistrian ruble. So you were there. But it's a different, it's a different yeah. type. Um, so you yeah. were there. So that's where Andrew, my friend Andrew, grew up. And, and Transnistria. So what, which passport do you have? A Moldovan passport? Does he have? Yeah. He has a Russian one because he was born in Russia oh, but he didn't grow up there. Yeah. He has a Russian one and a uh, British one. Oh, interesting. Okay. Two passports. Two passports. And it doesn't... Maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but, well, in fact, they can't do anything about it. It doesn't go back to Russia where he was born because you, you have to uh, do... National service. National service. Ah. So he doesn't go back there in case they like just pick him off the street oh, and put him oh, into the national service. Um... Yeah, you can relate. I did, I you can, can relate. relate. Yeah, but it's only one compulsory year in Russia. But it's one. There's oh, two. Right. We were in Singapore, right? Two. Yeah, two. Years. That's literally double the land. We have no beef with anyone. It's just we just don't trust people around us. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, my country has trust issues. Mm. Mm. Or maybe it's just wary. It knows what's up. Yeah. It knows that something's going to go down soon. Because I'm not going into detail. If you look at the history of World War Two. Let's some go, do you want to go into the details? Some country left Singapore. I'll not say who. To say fight who? The, say it. Well, say it. Uh, you can Google it. But I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say some someone controlled Singapore for a longest period. So, so uh, someone was the colonial master of Singapore. <laughs> well, not well. You can Google that for yourself. But you know, wink, wink. Yeah. <laughs> when the Japanese came, someone just said, All "Right, pack up, guys. We're going home." We got war to find the Western Front. Mm. And fend for yourselves, boys. That's Good like, luck. Oh, God. See you on the other side. No army, just people. Just people. Just people. Mm. Regular people. That now you have compulsory service. So, yes. Look um, what that did to it. What can we say? Our history thought us to have trust issues. <laughs> <laughs> An entire country with, with trust issues. Oh, yeah. Um. Is Singapore owned by China? No, why does everyone say that? Yeah, why Why is that? Why, does it even have any, like, political connection? No, none. None? No. Completely different. Why is this a sort of, like... Because I think Singapore is seen upon as the uh, a Chinese-majority country. Like, this, like 60% of the population is Chinese. But then again, it's a different Chinese. It's like if saying if saying it, the th- the thing is okay, great. I'm glad someone said this, right? So um, if if there are lots of um, Caucasians in America, mm-hmm. are you going to say that the USA is actually controlled by Europe then, the EU? How do you know it's not? <laughs> oh, oh, no, it's well, not. It's not. Mm. It's definitely not. We don't want America. They're all idiots anyway. I'm kidding. Americans, you're fine. I there's people, guys, there's people that watch for America. Love you guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, found some great American people in Scotland actually in the university. Great people. I yeah. actually have really good chats with them. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's great people from everywhere. There's no, there's no one place that just has all the bad people. Mm-hmm. Kind of saw this really cute girl last night from America, but you know that, we'll save that for now. <laughs> oh, I really want to know more now. Oh, yeah. I want to know the gossip. Ah, uh, you sure you don't want to talk about? It? See, I'm not sure. She might be watching this at some point. Like, mm. think she watches this? I'm not sure. She might be one day. I'm gonna take for granted she's definitely not watching this. <laughs> um, well, we just met, so maybe not. But yeah, yeah. she was kind of cute. She was nice. She I was mean, from Hawaii. I'm she's pretty Hawaii. famous, so maybe she is. I don't know. She she's <laughs> from she's from Hawaii, so yeah, she's pretty yeah. cute. Not gonna lie. So yeah, maybe she'd show her this and then. So, right. Give me some tips on how should I hit, how I should hit up a girl, man. Yeah. Like, how do I slice? You carry a handkerchief. <laughs> carry That's a the handkerchief. Number one rule. <laughs> the traditional ways. My boy's teaching me. Um, I love the tangents we're going on. I know. Talking about everything. Oh yeah. What is there not to talk about? With no sense as well. Um, do you want to talk about the new project and what we want th- from it? What do What do we want to get out of it? What do you want to get out of it? Me. Hmm. For me, at least, I think uh, I've kind of taught uh, you and the and sir so other name here, mm-hmm. <laughs> which you find out soon. Mm-hmm. One week from now, One keep stay tuned. Now. Yeah, every Saturday, uh, every Friday. I don't know why I said Saturday. Saturday today, Saturday, and that's yeah. why. No, every Friday. Friday. Uploads on Friday. Ah, right. this is Friday right now. This is live. 
live next Friday. So yeah, um, what do I want actually? Um, I think I would like to talk to like-minded people and invite people at some point to actually hear this, hear their views. It's not, I mean, there are a lot of podcasters out there, right? But mm. what makes us different from the rest is that we try to stay as neutral as possible and we, we don't impose views and things that and people, we just want to hear what they have to say. Maybe even get, you know, this is like a platform. Say if, if you're too worried, like, uh, you, you want to know more about the world, but don't have friends from around the world, maybe you could use this podcast to actually yeah. understand the world a bit more and maybe be a bit braver when it comes to making friends from around the world. That's a great thought. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe this becomes like a platform to actually get people to know about different cultures um, from Asia or from anywhere else, Africa, even America. Mm-hmm. You guys may look the same, but you guys definitely have a different, different culture. Yeah, so. definitely a different culture. And within that they culture... They call chip something else. Yeah. Within every culture, there's so many subcultures that you never understand until you have to learn that first sort of like umbrella culture. Oh yeah, like, like uh, even simple words like water. Mm. We cut water here. Do we? I was out, yeah. I mean, I, I, I was out mm-hmm. last night with a Canadian and American. They go like, water. 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 Yeah. Can I have a glass of water, please? Water. It's like, water. I can't even do it properly. I can't do it's like, so yes, tell me. Everyone, right, who's watching this right now, how do you actually say water? W a t e r. I'm. I, I feel like I'm not be. Able, I'm not, not going to be able to say water. Oh wait. I, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Water. So, I would say water. Yeah. With a t. Water. Right. Yeah. It's just water. <laughs> water. water. How do Scottish water. people generally say it though? How we say water. 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 We have to see where how the person says it next week. That's yeah, that, yeah. Right. The more you say something, the more it becomes no longer water, a word. Water, water. I'm so confused by the word water now. Water, please. Interesting. Yeah. Both English, but slightly different. Title of this episode: Water. <laughs> That's it. Just water. What? Question mark? Maybe water. Question mark, yeah. Question mark? Or water. Go start. Oh, water without the T. Uh, water. And the a question mark. The, the question mark. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. There we go. And now, now we're just going to unveil that the entire project is about going to different places and asking people how they say water, <laughs> and that is it. That might be an interesting thing. Um, that might be that might be the key one each. That might be the key one each. Podcast, yeah. Sounds like a very like uh, experimental uh, art project. Maybe even water in different languages. How do you say? Uh, uh, w- uh, in Chinese. How do you what 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 type of Chinese do you speak? Just regular Chinese. Which is what. Mandarin. Mandarin, right. Mandarin. Well, what's Cantonese? Cantonese, it's um, a dialect of Mandarin. It's a, it's a different dialect group. But is it, could be considered a different language? A language? No. A different dialect? Just a yes. different dialect. Right, okay. It's like Scots and Gaelic. So they're, but they're all, all under Ma- Mandarin. Mandarin yeah. on the so why is it not just language. Chinese? Why do they call it Mandarin? We just, like, we're just... It's quite straightforward. French people speak French. Spanish people speak Spanish. I mean, they're different dialects as well. But but why is it not Chinese people just speak Chinese? Why is there Mandarin? That has a different, completely different word. I've never really thought about that before, actually. Is there anywhere else where that's the case? Mm. No, that's, that's fine. No, that's brilliant. Yeah. That's a weird one. If you know any other ones, comment below. I want to know. I'm interested now. I don't even know how I'd even Google that. You know what I mean? How do you word oh, that question? Right. Anyway, how do you say uh, water and Mandarin? Mandarin, it's uh, sway. 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 Hmm. I don't know what I learned from that. I know, <laughs> I know a bit of Cantonese as well. Yeah. Wait, what's Cantonese? Soy. Wait, what is Cantonese though? It's, it's a different Wh- who, dialect. Who speaks that? People in Hong Kong in like southern part of China. Right, okay. Like a really southern part of China. Was that because it was a different empire at one point? Or what was the reason? Well... If we were to go back in Chinese history, different different empires. Like there were there were different kings, but there was a uh, there was an emperor that unified all. And it broke up. It's a bit like um, um, your clan system here. Like at some point there were clans, then the king mm. came, king of England came. Mm. Let's not go about Scottish history. It's a bit bloody. It's like lots of killings and well. boring. It's a bit boring. I suppose it's not. It's only boring to me because I grew up around. Interesting. Learning lots, about uh, that. If you realize how empires are made, lots of bloodshed as well. Yeah. Mm. People didn't agree with you off of your head. 
and stuff like which that. is probably why we're living in the best time to be alive it's very fortunate that well, we don't. can create unity without killing or unfortunately through things like brexit we can create anti-unity <laughs> through <sighs> non-bloodshed but at least we didn't have to kill anyone that's better lots of restraints because laws in place you can't kill r- people randomly anymore is that not a good thing you say that like oh that's that's so problematic loss oh god some people just i feel like i'm learning a lot about you right now some people just i'm not sure i mean some people deserve it <laughs> some people just kind of deserve it really some people are just like way too much and the way they treat people is just absolutely disgusting well yeah i do agree with that so, some people yeah mm. right back to the topic yeah of, um, <laughs> back right so back to the topic but so that's what i actually want about like and and, and the stuff like maybe at some point we get people with different backgrounds in yeah and we talk to them but also i would like to I, I would like to venture out at least for me to talk to other people from like different parts of you who are like young people mm-hmm. and just get to know them about and ask them more about their culture and stuff. Yeah, like yeah. yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we want very similar things, yeah. I feel like the reason that this podcast even exists in the first place was just a place in which I sort of could learn about other people. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I, don't, I, I, I didn't promote it mm-hmm. because I, I wasn't trying to do it to sort of create a platform mm-hmm. or, or build an audience. I was doing it because... I just wanted to speak to people yeah. and I feel like that subconsciously this was a good excuse to be like I think I think we to get in contact with people and talk to them it does I mean but I mean I think your idea is fantastic that's always the reason why I like to build on on it it's because I, I really like the fact that especially when you're from here you're trying to know more about the world yeah and so what I like to do is actually I like to build on that idea and actually introduce like what, what I can see from as a foreigner in your country. And so I provide my opinions about your country. Mm. You can tell me why people think that way. And I kind of learn about where, yeah. where this is going as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah we, we have different heritage. So we have different oh, perspectives in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's, it's great. And the person who is coming on also has different heritage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Like, we're all coming from different sort of like places in life it's kind of it's kind of like a i would say this is almost becomes like a, a talk show but with people like, mm. like that it's fairly representative of like the different experiences in society as well it's you like a think. talk show but good a, a good talk <laughs> show is like no one's gonna fight each other and things like that and it's like yeah um we don't need a bouncer like the yeah. horse is back like i mean maybe boom. sometimes we but never know point, who we yeah. might bring on some point, yeah. mm. get mm. things get things going mm. get the people's blood pumping oh yeah yeah um, but yeah, it is, it's like a talk show. Um, it's like a talk show, but it's not scripted. It's not scripted, yeah. There's so no scripts, so I just have tea in front of me. Yeah, there's no restrictions. No, no, no. There's yeah. It's a f- safe space to talk. Yeah. Um, I mean, to some degree, we are putting out on the internet, and I mean, we could say something that call it culture would disagree with, and and then we end up getting taken off the internet, and we lose our social medias, and then we die. But let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's hope that people actually do want to hear freedom of speech. Tom is not married yet. At least let me get married first. By the way, I'm single. If anyone wants to <laughs> If anyone who is from Hawaii <laughs> wants to yeah, help my man. Hawaii, just everywhere. Just anywhere, you know. What about that girl, man? What about that girl? I mean... You definitely can't show her this now. I mean... Well, she might watch it at some point. <laughs> but who knows? I might be going out for it. Then it might be fine. Do you know what we should do? We should get business cards. Yeah, we should, we should yeah. just hand them to people. No context, just hand them to people. Maybe yeah. wink and then walk off. That's true, yeah. And then we should have different business cards for when we want people on the podcast and we say, email this. Oh, yeah. Oh, or, yeah. or phone, like text this number. We should get like t-shirts as well, like something oh. that represents the levels a bit. T-shirts, yeah. that sounds cool. And we should sell them, make tons of money. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But they should be ethical made t-shirts, not, not mm. like... Uh, so there was a funny thing about, um, it was in my boarding school. We were raising funds here. Like for ethical reasons, right? <laughs> guess where the t-shirts were made in? Let me guess. Um, Vietnam. No, it was in South America, which is far Ooh. worse with their labor laws and stuff like that. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. It was made in one of the worst countries possible in South America. What was it? Nicaragua, where there's a terrible rate 
for child labor. I'm not gonna lie. I don't even know. I know nothing about that. Like I know nothing. Not not about child labor. I I, no, I, mean, I just know nothing about I, that I country. I watched a documentary. Was really young. And it's like, so you're selling stuff. It's like oh, help the kids in Kenya buying t-shirts and stuff like that. But then, you get t-shirts made in another part of the world, which yeah. is equally bad, if not far Hilarious, worse. Isn't it? It's, yeah, yeah, the yeah. The irony is just insane. Yeah. But uh, so like I I try to buy ethically made oh, yeah. products. Oh yeah. Um, and I I, I think I probably get like a kick out of it and be like, yeah, I'm I'm a good person. I'm buying this. See, and but what what is ethically sourced? It, it's so it's not. It's it's hard. It's hard to say as well. I mean, there's only so much you can actually do with it. That's what. That's in my opinion. You get what I mean? No, I get yeah. Um, there's a brand. There's a brand called Nudie Jeans. I like to buy their jeans Nudie because jeans. The, the are they jeans. Expensive, I don't know what. How how much are jeans? Depends. I what, mean, what would you pay for a pair of jeans? I've got a good pair of Levi's made in Japan with good Japanese dye, but two hundred quid. Yeah, they're no any more. They're no more expensive. They were like oh, okay. hundred and twenty to hundred and fifty, I'd say. Okay, okay. So they're not. That's not, I wouldn't say that's an outrageous price for jeans. Um, I like a pair of jeans. I'm like currently in my. <laughs> I don't know if your legs are on camera. <laughs> yeah, get them shown. Oh, oh, oh. oh those. Again, any, any. Oh wait, everyone that's listened to this won't get to see your amazing legs. They'll just oh. be. Go, please go to youtube.com and uh, search volumes to see Chinese beautiful legs. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, so so nudie jeans. Mm-hmm. Their brand is ethically made, right? Okay. But they are. So the, the, uh, the jeans it? are made from recycled old denim. Okay, cool. Um, the, and I think it's Portugal to make them or Spain. So is, is there a vintage feel to the jeans then? Oh yeah, they're uh, but they're so high quality. And what I love about them is that they have this sort of like a pair for life mentality. Mm-hmm. So if you go to a nudie jeans store, they'll stitch up our our like for fix. Free. Yeah. Oh, sweet. That's, that's part of the deal. Just that like jeans ripped before and it's like, oh crap, where, yeah. where do I fix them? And you get a pair of nudie jeans. Yep. Although the only store in uh, Bren, I think, is in London. But I mean, it's in London. If you lived in London, that works. I think there's a lot more. It's a, it's a Spanish company, I think, or Portuguese company. Well, time to open more branches. Come on. Well, need need people buying more jeans. Yeah, that's true. And it's just a it's just a cycle. If you could give me a pair of jeans, I'll wear it <laughs> in Scotland. You might have a shot me in no time. And if you want to send me some Singaporean tea, <laughs> is it Singaporean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. I miss those teas. Yeah. Sorry about that. I had to like substitute for like regular green tea. Green tea was very good. Ran out of it. Because I drank all. Please send me a box. <laughs> Please. What we should do, right, is we should clip that moment there, uh-huh. put it on our Instagrams. Yep. And tag them, right? Oh yeah, we, yeah and, I think about that. And maybe it'll, maybe they'll hit us up. We should we should have an Instagram page as well, don't we? There is a volumes Instagram. Yeah. But the more I think about it, I'm like, maybe maybe I should just use my own Instagram. You know what I mean? We should use your own. Because I, I, I'm Personal active on that. And yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. It seems so commercial. I hate the idea of it being so commercial. Like, it's just people talking. That's all it is. It's just people talking. But I'm just worried. Like, you know, um, the whole privacy thing. You know what I mean? No, I get you. I yeah, get yeah. you. Um, I mean, I don't I don't like it being commercial. I mean, I, I like the three of us, like, um, maybe having a good time. Mm. Like, maybe something that reveals, but maybe just, like, you know, keep some of the private stuff out of the way. Yeah, I've got nothing to hide though. I mean, I've got nothing to hide. It's just that I'm not sure who's looking in. I can't. I don't really mind. Big Daddy's watching you. I don't mind. So they can daddy. watch. They can watch anything they want. I'm, I'm an not open sure book. What Big Daddy does to me though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just saying it's too early for this. The sun's still out here, so yeah. Mm. Mm. Such a nice view. <laughs> I say that, but no one, no one will see that if you're watching this. Trust me. There's a good view. If you're listening to this podcast, there's a good view. If you're watching this, you, you've got us, which is also a good view. <laughs> Vanity through the roof. Um, what were we talking about before we went on that tangent there? I feel like we're, we're going places. It's basically our concept. Uh, uh, the concept yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I sw- yeah, it's just to learn. It's just to learn, understand more about exactly, the world. Yep, yep. More about people. People are what runs the world. People mm. run the world. 
Um, and, and you realize, you realize actually how, how different yet similar people actually are. Yeah. You, I think you realize how similar people are really. And like, you realize everyone's like, all what, the same. One of the biggest things I actually want to do in my life is that, right. Um, so my goal is actually to take the Trans-Siberian Railway from Russia all the way to China. And from China, I take it down the way to Hong Kong. And from there, possibly take a ferry or something to Vietnam and take a train back all the way to Singapore. Wow. Yeah. How long would that take? God knows. Weeks. Three weeks, yeah. Three weeks. Three weeks. Three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks. And isn't that like extortionate? It's outrageously expensive. You save it up because it's once a lifetime because my grandfather says you actually see the transition from Eastern European culture. Oh. And it's quite similar on the border and like the stuff they eat and stuff like that. And the, the cultures are similar and you realize people aren't actually different. You it's can make safety. apparently it's a trip of a lifetime. In, in, in what my grandfather says, it literally eradicates racism. Really? That's an eye-opening trip. What? Yeah. People should be, that should be compulsory. People should just be oh, forced yeah. to do that. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that should, everyone should get a free ticket to do that. Open our eyes. It's expensive, not going to lie. It's expensive. Yeah. But I'd imagine. It's eye opening. Really want to do that for my graduation when I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I'm, if I'm rich by then, I'll join you. If I'm welcome to. Uh, if I'm not rich, then enjoy your trip. <laughs> oh. Um, we'll definitely do that at some point because what what you literally do is like take a backpack. Yeah, you'll we'll be on the train for most of it. You just like stop in like countries along the way, maybe spend a couple of days in Russia, then take the tram. You can even get to Siberia, I think. That's yeah. that's um. Oh, sorry, continue. Then after that, you go to Mongolia. Mongolia. Yeah, inner Mongolia, not outer Mongolia. Inner Mongolia, possibly even outer. I think. I'm getting confused about my Mongolians. There's two types of Mongolians. One's with the Chinese, one one's with Mongolian, Mongolia. Mongolia, um, Mongolia. Mongolia, Mongolia, Mongolia. Oh, yeah. All the um, Mongolians. So, yeah, that's exciting. I mean, you see the transitions between the um, culture mm. and the planes as well. Like, yeah, from hilly, it comes pretty flat and stuff like that. That'd be insane. Yeah, yeah. That uh, should be everyone's goal in life to do something big like that. That's like... What do you want to? Like, I don't know, what would you call that? Like they're just their big thing. Everyone should have that big thing they want to just achieve. Oh yeah. And then create another big thing once that one's done, and not stop until you die. Creating projects. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, if you know, you know. Uh, so do you think yeah. we'll be the, actually the first people to actually do this podcast? Uh, will we be the first in Scotland to actually do it? Something quite some someone that actually in, you know we we don't even talk just about issues in Scotland we we try to engage the world yeah. do you think I'll be the first one in Scotland to actually do it I don't know I don't, yeah, I don't think there are many Scottish YouTubers actually does it I, I, don't, I don't, don't know any any Scottish podcasters I know like some people that have podcasts I know like but is there is, is there is there is there an, I, an, a concept behind that I think or even like what, what I don't know achieve? any like highly successful Right. Of any, not even personally, I just don't know of any highly successful podcasters right, in Scotland. Okay. okay. Um, so yes, to all yeah. the viewers out there, to all our viewers out there, we really need your support. Maybe just share the video. Yeah. Give it a like, even subscribe if you can. That'll be that'll be really nice. Yeah, because absolutely. Um, yeah, I don't think we're doing it for the, um, uh, the wrong reasons as well. Like, we don't want no. to be like extremely famous. We just want you know people to actually get get involved in like this massive project we have and stuff like that yeah without sort of like <laughs> tooting oh, yeah. our own horn we're, there we're are no, in no ways that I want to be an influencer I can honestly tell that first right now yeah I want to make a it, it sounds silly but I just want to engage the world and just yeah. see I, I don't want to influence people That that's not right just get them thinking I just want to get them thinking just about get them stuff. thinking yeah exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I totally agree um, in fact I couldn't agree more with exactly what you just said I th- if I could do this for the rest of my life, I'd be very, very happy. And no, what's even lie, yeah. what's incredible is that everything we're using right now can fit into that backpack. Mm-hmm. You can just slip it all there and go anywhere. Anywhere around anywhere. the world, yeah. Yeah. Can you like, bring this up the plane or? Say if you're going to like, um, I don't know, France one day mm-hmm. or um, I don't know, Germany or something. Mm-hmm. You're going to bring that back along. Yeah, oh. absolutely. 
and anyone that wants to speak to me. See, I'd like to be in a position in life where I have a big enough following that I could say, right, uh, I'm going to Germany this weekend. Mm -hmm. Who wants to talk to me? You know what I mean? Yeah, that would be cool, yeah. And then someone reaches out and I go and I I, I might end up just sitting in their, their sitting room. They're living yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Fair and enough. I'm just having a conversation and be understanding great, their yeah. culture. I think that'd be a great eye-opening and eye-opening uh, project or or so sort I, of series. I think, I think the issue you have here. So um, yes, we, we I, I understand that most people from the EU do speak English as well. But what if it's the case that we found someone from the EU that doesn't really speak English? We well, again, to, we I'd like to, to be in that position yeah, yeah. where I could reach out and say, right, who speaks both English and German? And they could be the translators yeah. as well, even yeah. Please, yeah, please, enough. like, come along help me out i want to speak to someone do you know what i mean yeah like but granted if someone's reaching out and saying yeah i want to be in the podcast yeah. they probably can speak english because they're listening to oh, the yeah. podcast yeah 100 percent. yeah um but yeah that's the that's the level i want to be on and right now when almost 100 percent of the listeners mm -hmm. on on uh, apple apple uh, podcast and spotify yeah. are from the uk mm -hmm. ireland and the us in the US as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a few from the US. Amazing, yeah. It's like 10% from the US. 10%, that's an yeah. amazing number. Um, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Ireland, which part of Ireland? Like, I, don't, I don't know if it, it doesn't really give you like an exact breakdown. It just sort of like gives Republic you... Republic or North? Oh, no, uh, Republic. Oh, Republic, right. Okay, cool. Because it's just like Britain. So Britain, like, yeah. Yeah, Scotland, England, Fair Northern thing. Ireland, Wales. Fair. It's just like Britain. And that's where majority come from. And then it's Northern uh, so, uh, Republic of Ireland, and then it's the US. And then I think there's like two from miscellaneous places, or like two from like random miscellaneous places, or like two from Canada, two from uh, like South Africa, two from mm -hmm. India, two from Bangladesh. So, two you, from so you have the statistics as well and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's like an exact. I'll, I'll send you all this. It's so interesting, actually. We should talk about it. I think that's so interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just understanding. Because I, I kind of want to engage the listening. viewers more as well. I don't. I don't want them just be listening all the yeah. time as well. I actually want. I want to hear from them. Yeah. Like um and, and stuff like that. Like see, that's the, it's annoying though because most people who listen so like. I think there's like an average of like a hundred views on mm -hmm. YouTube, mm -hmm. right? But there's an average of like way, way more than that that mm -hmm. listen. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But there's no way of commenting on the the platforms that you listen on. Yeah. There's no way of like properly engaging. Do you know what I mean? You're not. I thought they could leave comments on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube, but yeah. that's like such a that's a minority of people uh -huh. who actually like listen right, to the podcast. Right. There's way less people on youtube so watching. do you think people should start people should actually start moving away from like the platforms which you can't comment because i mean mm. i think you, youtube will be such a i mean youtube yes is a platform but i, I like the fact that you can maybe leave some comments or even like well, yeah. send us an email like like a they, they will have our gmails at some point or even that you can drop a message yeah. as well on youtube so and i think that'll be quite interesting and if, if they're actually interested they could drop us an email and maybe you just chat to them over an email. Maybe at some point do a Skype interview and say, oh, talk to them, just say, hey, say hi, mm. stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I just want to be the kind of person that actually, if I, if I were to start something, I'd like to be in touch with the, 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 the fans or the viewers yeah. as well. You know what I mean? Stay because, connected. Yeah. yeah, because I think they're making effort to actually see you talk about something. Yeah. The least you could do as the person that's providing content is like, appreciate them. It's like, yeah. thank you very much. And it's like, because without I, them you're nothing i find that your biggest content generators are your fans as well mm -hmm. they teach you things oh yeah I, I i agree i totally agree um they're kind of like you're part of your team unofficial members of your team yeah i get what you're saying yeah yeah totally um they're not the front end of the work but they're like the back end of the work which is even more important yeah i was gonna as say as well. they're, yeah. they're almost way more important than anything because there's so much you can actually do within yeah. the team because people maybe think in a certain way and stuff like that and as much as we could say things, yeah. they're the ones that actually have an influence of what really happens. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think maybe not. Like, don't leave places like Spotify. Don't leave places like. No, I'm not saying leave. Apple, but Apple yeah. uh, podcasts. Yeah. Um, but rather, stay there and also go to like, like a social media. Oh yeah. And then yeah. maybe engage there if you have comments like. Yeah. But there's, I feel like there should be a better way of doing it. And I can it. see our beautiful faces on YouTube as well. Yeah, and come to YouTube. Do you know what? Watch on all of them and follow us. Yeah. Do you want to give a wee shout out to whatever platform you want people to pay attention to you on? 
or do you um, not want to show off your your socials at all? Possibly YouTube first. If you would like to add me on Instagram, it's c e underscore l w. Simple. Simple indeed. Yeah. That's actually quite a crazy username to have. I feel like it's so short that it would be impossible to have now anything that with that few characters. Right now, yeah, oh, yeah. possibly, yeah, yeah. I mean, how long have you had that Instagram? Ooh, good question. I think that was about um, sixteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. So yeah. what's that like? I'm an old man. <laughs> Seven years. Seven years, right? Yeah. Mm. I think I've had my Instagram for like four years, mm. almost half. Probably like three and a half. No, that can't be right. I've had it for like. Because I realise people are moving nah, away from Facebook. I've right? had it for like seven years as well, actually. Oh, I'm okay. an idiot. Because I realise so people are moving away from Facebook and going to Instagram. And yeah, stuff like that, yeah. Facebook sucks. If you won't say it, I will. Facebook sucks. Facebook's Facebook only sucks. good for finding memes. But it's good when you want to send reports and math worksheets and... Really? Yeah, yeah it's good. You just kind of just drag the files and just place it there. Because, I mean, you can't send files on Instagram. You can't send big files. I don't like know if I've ever I mean... I find Facebook such a such a good alternative to emails. Like, oh, I've been sending emails to so. Mm. Facebook's got a little bit of everything though. Like, it's got like groups yeah, yeah, and pages yeah. and stuff like that. They're useful. That like no other social media really takes advantage of oh, yeah. or uses properly. Um, Facebook has everything. Has a f- some sort of like form and function for everything. Mm-hmm. Well, Instagram's mm-hmm. like very linear and straightforward. Here's oh, yeah. the here is that's it. Twitter's the same. Here is that's it. Mm-hmm. Um, so Instagram kind of streams, streams it down. I mean, Instagram. I think the whole Insta, it's like Insta, instant. Yeah. I'm not even sure what's grabbing. What is what's grabbing? I mean, uh, photography, right? Gram, Insta- like photogram. On photo. I think the reason why Instagram became more popular is because um, immediacy. We have simple minds. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fast paced. It's like why it's Vine paced. became popular, or now why TikTok's what, popular. TikTok, right? It's so so media. You just get the information and then you move on. Information, move Call on. Call me a boomer. I don't understand what TikTok really. I, I love just, it. I've <laughs> just had, I've I've just had like I've seen, um, I think best TikTok I've ever watched was this person. Uh, they say uh, a comment like, I barely drink bubble tea, and I, I'd rather save money on bubble tea. And they go, wow. <laughs> Wow. It was really, it's a, it was annoying. Wow. It was like, wow. It wasn't just one person. It was like, it was Old the same person. But yeah, it's like but it's like on the like, repeat. Wow. It felt early. Yeah. <laughs> and the hand clap was just so good. Comedy gold, right? Oh, yeah. Comedy gold. That was like the best. I think that was the best video I've watched on TikTok. Yeah. Um, do you want to wrap this up? We're getting to the hour mark. Oh, are we now? Oh, yeah. that's fast. Oh, yeah, that's it goes so fast. Having right? fun. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like TikTok's a good place to end. <laughs> oh yeah, TikTok. We can't, we can't get better than TikTok. So yeah, um, you know, what? let's just summarize. Like, really, what do you want out from this? Like this whole new concept, we just to talk. I'd, I I want to create as much as possible and uh-huh. speak to as many people as possible. I want to learn. From Does that mean traveling a bit as well? Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I definitely travel. Yeah. yeah. I actually would like to travel. We, I would like to focus in in the UK first. Yeah, and then expand. And expand, expand to Europe. Expand. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would yeah. like to have like correspondence from like, and you can actually invite them and maybe talk to them at some point. I think it would be so, really yeah. surprising though, is how much you'd actually realize it as here. You know, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. I think a lot of people think, oh, it's just, it's just, it's calm. It's just Britain. There's not. It's, you've seen it all after a, like a few weeks. Um, like everyone that lives here thinks this is a bit. Yeah, I mean, but you, you never know. Yeah, the deeper the, the dive you take. The idea you have may, may even change the scene of the way people view podcasts in Scotland. Mm. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're revolutionaries. We're going to change it. This is a, the next step in, in human evolution oh, yeah. for podcasts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love that. Great. Um, yeah. Follow me on all my social medias, every one of them. Mm-hmm. It's at Sir Tom Gibson. Uh, yeah, just a final question. Should we create an Instagram well, profile? Well, I was just about to go on to that. Oh, great. Do you want to do you want to let the viewers decide if they if they think that we should use our own platforms that we oh, already cool, have yeah. and of cool, sort yeah. of like curate yourself yeah. and like our, my your uh, what is it at ce on underscore l o w l o w yeah. or my at s i r t o m g i b s o n. That's just way too long. You can find <laughs> mine. Um, <laughs> mine's is linked though <laughs> ah. um, or should we have a dedicated podcast 
social media. Mm. If you could leave some comments, yeah, be great, yeah. Or or there is a poll in this YouTube video. If you want to, if you want to vote in the poll, it is in the YouTube video. It's popped down right now. Click on it. Yeah, somewhere about here. Yeah, probably. It's not my face, is it? It's just something. No, it's like oh. it'll be up, up here. <laughs> Maybe if I can put it on your face, I'll do that. <laughs> um. <laughs> So yeah, please tell us and thanks for listening. Good. Stay tuned to episode yeah. two next week. Every Friday. And there will be a review, so stay tuned. Our last member's coming up. <laughs>